Fortnite has taken the world by storm ever since it launched its Battle Royale mode in September of 2017. The game is so popular that parents are hiring Fortnite coaches for their kids. Sites like Gamer Sensei and Varsity Tutors have hundreds of experienced Fortnite coaches helping kids and parents get better at the game. Coaches charge anywhere between $10 to $30 an hour based on their experience level, gaming background, and their track record with previous students. Some parents are spending hundreds, even thousands, to make sure their kids are good at Fortnite. It's definitely an expense. We don't really track it super close. It's not something that's probably more than maybe 100, 200 bucks a month. Um, so here's why some parents are hiring Fortnite coaches. It's really no different than, you know, say, say getting you soccer lessons for your kids. And I think with a game like Fortnite, it's probably like that for a lot of folks. There's the social aspect to playing Fortnite for younger gamers. The game is deeply embedded in today's popular culture, and pretty much anyone can play the game. We saw some old friends at a flag like, football practice, and it was immediately like, oh, you're playing Fortnite, what's your username, what kind of skins do you have, and it went, you know, like an immediate conversation, literally like every kid they know plays it, everyone at school plays it, uh, all of their cousins play it. In a report from JP Morgan in May of 2018, Fortnite reached demographics that were typically hard to tap into. Especially kids 8 to 10 years old made up 23% of Fortnite's playing time in April of 2018, and kids 11 to 15 made up 30% according to research firm Dubbit. Then there's the prospect of landing a scholarship for gaming too. Today, there are more than 80 schools around the US giving scholarships to gamers. The National Association of Collegiate Esports offers $9 million in esports scholarships, and Ashland University is one of the first schools to offer a scholarship specifically for playing Fortnite. For the next year of recruiting, I expect to see a lot of different recruits who, you know, have hired coaches or tutors for Fortnite, and you know they have been practicing, you know, for months with that coach, and then that led them to being the right skill to getting a scholarship. While not every kid will get a Fortnite scholarship, sites like GamerSense believe that getting a Fortnite coach could actually help bring the family back together. In June, nearly 33% of Fortnite gamers spent 6-10 to 10 hours a week playing Fortnite. Parents are also getting coaches so that they can join their kids playing Fortnite. We get a lot of direct outreach from parents asking if they can set up uh, coaching sessions with their kids. And we also get a lot of parents who want to get coached so that way when they have playtime with their kids, it's productive and they have fun together. And frankly, so their kids don't make fun of them. But the idea of getting a Fortnite coach has seen its fair share of negative feedback. There's been pushback from other parents and publications online criticizing the idea of paying to have a Fortnite tutor for their kids. But it's not just helping kids get better at the game, it's also helping kids in other ways too. Let's say that there's, you know, people that are handicapped playing Fortnite. I mean, it's most of the time they probably don't have the chance to really become like a professional, maybe football or basketball player, but they have the means and the, the possibility of becoming like a professional Fortnite player. So how do these Fortnite tutoring sessions work? Sites like Gamer Sensei will ask you what game you would like to get better at and it will show you a list of professional gaming coaches who are for hire. Our coach Harry costs $28 per hour to $140 for a five hour session. And I got into Gamer Sensei nice and early, so I was one of the first Fortnite coaches. His background is that he's been in competitive gaming for 10 plus years, he's been involved in pro gaming leagues, and he has a thousand plus Fortnite wins. The most important thing with, uh, with Fortnite is your, your building. Yeah, and using that to uh, protect yourself. So when I'm landing in these houses, I actually start by hitting all the materials in these houses just to get that little bit of early, that early start with uh, the materials. So do you do like Fortnite tutoring full time? Um, yeah. Um, I didn't plan on doing it full time. I was working in as a university student, so I was, I was studying finance, uh, finance and accounting. I, I started coaching at. Uh, eight dollars an hour or whatever just as a bit of extra money for university you know i could go out and uh, go, for, go for a meal if i wanted to while some coach part-time in addition to their full-time jobs being a fortnite coach is a pretty lucrative business the, the highest number that i've heard was like six thousand a month just playing fortnite to make this a full-time job experience is key the more qualified a Fortnite tutor is, the more five-star ratings they have on sites like Gamer Sensei, the more of an opportunity that they have to charge more per hour and work full time. It's just behind that wooden wall. So as he makes a move here, this is where we really want to try and get that damage onto him. In running here. There we go. We won. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> With helping students land scholarships to helping kids with friends and family, and esports becoming more mainstream, 
It's no wonder why gamers and parents are jumping on the Fortnite bandwagon. Hi, I'm Arjun Kapoor. Thanks for watching The Edge. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes. And don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Live channel right here at the bottom of the screen.